Okay, I know I'm a little bit late on this, um, and I guess this will probably be um, my last Dvar Torah um, before you guys actually come to Israel. Um, so a short idea on, on Parsha Shoftim. So towards the beginning of the Parsha, we have the mitzvah of appointing a king. And in that context, the Pasuk tells us, Som tasim alecha melech, asher yivchar adonai alecha bo. Mikerav achecha tasim alecha melech, lo tuchal latet alecha ish nachri, asher lo achicha hu. You shall surely place a king upon you that God chooses from among your brothers who will place him, who will place a king on you. You cannot put a foreigner who is not your brother. Um, and I want to focus on a, a what I think is a fascinating tension in this Pasuk. Um, on the one hand, the Pasuk is clearly um, exclusionary. It tells you that the king... Cannot be lo tu chala teda lecha ish nachri asher lo achicha hu. And the brother and the word ach here, the word brother is acting to exclude appointing to the uh, to the position of king of monarch a non Jew. And in fact, as we will see um, in our shirim on Baba Batra, um, in the first parak of of uh, Baba Batra, there's quite a drama about this drasha that Chazal make it even more exclusionary. And Rashi um, um, sorry, and Chazal make it even more exclusionary and note that not only can a non-Jew not be king over Jews, but um, an Eved can't even though he has partial Jewishness and there's discussion of exactly how to interpret the Halacha, but um, it's not even clear whether... It's clear that certain converts are excluded uh, as well. And then there's a discussion and we've shown him of exactly what type of convert and whether having one parent is Jewish is, is sufficient. Um, but the psukim clearly have this exclusionary aspect to it and Chazal uh, add to that. Um, however, as, as m- many modern um, commentators have noted, and most recently I was listening to a podcast with, uh, with Micah Goodman, who makes this point, the fact that the Pasuk says that the king is chosen, from uh, among your brothers, is actually a very inclusionary um, and maybe democratizing is the wrong word, but an anti-elitist statement, considering that in the ancient world, for sure, kings were often presented with a divine origin story, presented as kings or as, uh, as gods or chosen by the gods, as being fundamentally different, metaphysically different. And here, the Apostle tells you that he's mikera vachecha, in the end of the day, even after he becomes king, he's someone who just came from his brothers. He came from the Jews. He's actually, at least metaphysically speaking, the same as everyone else, even if now, obviously, he's going to have authority and power, which, to be fair, these psukim go out of their way to limit. But still, he's mikera And saying that the king is from your brother is not at all obvious, because the last thing that a king, a pharaoh, etc. And the ancient world would have thought of himself is that he is a brother to the common folk. And I think therefore it's, it's fascinating to explore and perhaps we will do this when we return to this, um, to the Agadita on the first paragraph of Baba Vasa that really uh, captures this drama. It's worth thinking about how at the same time this Pasuk is in one sense exclusionary and as we'll see in the Gemara of, of Hordus um, he's offended by it, that he is descended from Av, uh, Avadim and therefore he has certain um, Jewish characteristics, but the, the rabbinic interpretation of the Torah excluded him. And at the same time, the very Pasuk, the same word, Achicha, which is used to exclude non-Jews from taking the position of monarch, and even certain types of Jews 
or members of the Jewish community from taking the position of monarch, that same word is the one which is also anti-elitist and anti-exclusionary and reminds the king that even if he has political power, he's just a brother to the citizens of his country. And that dynamic, both emerging from the exact same word, is, I think, critical to understanding the complexity of the idea of the monarchy and political leadership in general in, in Halakha.